Few things in life disappoint me more than wasted potential for anything. Could be a sports team, it could be, you know, a product, it could be a game, it could be a wrestler. In this case, Modern Warfare screams wasted potential. Because this game, even though this is beta gameplay, is basically still in its beta. How many months after release, and this game seems to be the biggest failure, probably even close to what Black Ops 4 was in terms of a failure, because you all know I hate that fucking game. But seriously, Modern Warfare, what the fuck happened? And you guys have been waiting for this video for a while. A couple of y'all I've been talking to on in my comment section, I've been telling y'all, look forward to this video because shit's going to get crazy, or at least I hope it does, because I have a lot of shit to say about this game, and I, I just can't hold it in any longer, because it just makes me upset at how stupid people are, and how companies and this industry are just so blind to the blatant problems that cause games like this to be a failure. Because Modern Warfare is just that, an absolute fucking failure and I don't have to play the game in its current state to understand that I could have told you that in the beta I could have told you that in the gunfight alpha that's how much of a failure I think this game is but I had I've had some videos on the channel in the last couple of months leading up to modern warfare's you know beta releases and release I said several times I'm hyped for the game there's a lot of news around it that could potentially you know make me a possible buyer of the game uh there was a lot of rumors stuff like oh you know the game might come with a 10 year anniversary remastered of modern warfare 2 blah 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 you know that obviously hasn't come to fruition because uh, you think they would have talked about something like that by now with something with big news like that in addition i said that this game was called essentially Call of Duty's last chance. People are already saying, oh, Black Ops 5 will be good. Black Ops 5 from Treyarch's next game's gonna be good. Fuck no, dude. Look at how fucking long they have to develop the fucking game. It's not gonna be a success. This was Call of Duty's last chance. This was Call of Duty's chance to bring it back to the roots, the grittiness, the, you know, the, the fun multiplayer, the fun streaks, the fun gunplay, guns that we love and recognize. It didn't do that. Call of Duty's last chance has been wasted, by, and the potential of this game has been wasted. It's really a fucking shame, you know? Like I said before, I, I was hyped. I was really hyped. All these rumors, all these trailers coming out, I was excited. I mean, the fucking campaign looked like a legit move me, movie, if I could be straight up honest with you guys. I was like, wow, if they ever made a movie, I would like it to be like this. Straight up. And then comes the Gunfight Alpha. And, you know, the Gunfight Alpha wasn't terrific. I had fun. It's not my type of mode. It's more of an MLG Sweatfest mode. But it turns out the rest of this game is essentially one big MLG Sweatfest. So, what did I know at the time? But it's just not my style of gameplay. The gunplay was a little clunky. Some of the guns were just not great, the ones that they gave us to use. It wasn't a lot of fun. It, I mean, it was a lot of fun, but... It could have been better, you know? Then the beta drops. Ooh, the Modern Warfare beta. Boy, the shit I could say about that. Although one thing I can say, it it's probably one of the most unfun experiences in gaming I've ever had. I mean, and I've been saying this a lot recently, like the last couple of months. You know, it seems, it seems like every game I play is just one giant fucking disappointment. And how un with how unfun some of this shit is. It's really a fucking shame. It, it honestly is a fucking shame. That's how I felt in the beta. The fucking player base sucked with how people played the game. The Most of the maps were terrible that they gave us. Uh, besides Gunrunner and uh, Hackney Yard, I didn't know. I fucking hated the maps. I mean, Azir Cave, I thought I liked in the beginning, but then I realized just how fucking terrible it was for pretty much all sorts of gameplay other than camping. Um... You know, this is some Ground War gameplay. This is the only Ground War gameplay ever actually recorded. Ground War was okay, but it's just not great. It's not something Call of Duty 
in its first iteration has done quite well, in my opinion. There's just way too much shit going around, way too many fucking buildings. It's it's essentially, this map is essentially building spam 2.0, fucking with Call of Duty, put into it on the title. I, I just don't know, I don't know, there's no other way I could actually say it. I mean, this map in particular, I wasn't too much of a fan of. I don't know what the other maps are like, because I didn't buy the game, and I'll get to more than that in a second. But since it's been released, and actually released on the anniversary of my YouTube channel when I created this shit, it released, and I'm like, I see all this shit being said about it, and I'm like, wow, they really didn't fix anything from the beta? Like, what was the deal with that? I mean, why didn't Infinity Ward... I mean, they seem to have made some decent changes partway through the beta with including the mini-map and all that, but why not change what the community was asking for, a majority of the community was asking for. You know, red dots on the mini-map. Maybe give us some better maps. I don't know, maybe hopefully we're hoping for better maps in the rotation. Seems most of the maps in the game are absolute shit other than the ones that we actually played in the beta. We were essentially, we weren't even playing a beta, like I said. We were playing a fucking alpha. This game was in its fucking alpha stage when we played this in that beta. It was terrible. It's fucking atrocious. People have been talking shit about it all for months. There's no gun balance. The perk system is completely out of whack. The, a lot of the streaks to me weren't that great other than the ones I use, which is, you know, mostly UAV cruise missile, which I don't think is that great anyway. VTOL. Uh, maybe there's a couple other streaks that I, I'm just not good enough to get, admittedly, that were probably better, but, you know, that's something I've only seen on YouTube. Um, it's just, the TTK is still too fucking fast. The camping is unreal, worse than any other fucking Call of Duty I've ever seen in my entire life. It's just one great big disappointment and one great big shit show all at the same time. That's literally what it is. It's literally one big disappointment and shit show all at the same time. And I can't really stress that enough, ladies and gentlemen. So then I start, I say to myself, I make the video saying, you know what? I'm not going to buy the game yet. I'm going to see if this game has some life in it in a couple of months. Maybe by Christmas. Let's say by Christmas, I'll decide whether to buy the game. Then a lot more shit happens after that. A lot of YouTubers I watch and respect in the community, I'll name a few, they don't know who the fuck I am, but I don't really care. You know, Actman made his review, and that really made me question my decision to buy the game, because it seemed to me, in Actman's video, because I wanted to play the campaign more than anything, I would have I would have loved to have played the campaign that they were talking about. All this, you know, this really gritty war feeling, something that will make you question your decisions in game you know I, I was into that shit I was into this no holds bar type of style of of a, of a campaign that Call of Duty in my honest opinion has been severely lacking since the Modern Warfare series more or less and he said it was great and I was like oh that's great I, I like campaign I really would have liked to have played it then I hear and then I hear multiplayer still sucks then I hear spec ops is fucking terrible so in my mind I'm thinking to myself I'm essentially, if I wanted to buy Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I would essentially be paying a $60, $60 fee for one third of a game that I would actually enjoy playing. There's no logic in that, ladies and gentlemen. There's absolutely zero fucking logic in that. And I, I find it astounding that after all this months, after all this de so-called development time and all this time to fix the game before the, it, was, it was released after the beta, you know, Infinity Ward absolutely shit the bed. Then you have eight thoughts. Another guy, you know, some people may or may not like him for his, you know, style of videos and shit, but, you know, the guy, as goofy as he is, as a goofy bald motherfucker as he is, he's, he's not right, he's not wrong. He's really not wrong a lot of the time when it comes to his takes on this game. It's not a fun game to play, and you have to play it a certain way to have fun, and not a lot of people want to do that. You can't force... This is mostly towards Infinity Ward. You can't force an entire player base to play a certain type of way. That's not what Call of Duty is. It's not a tactical Rainbow Six Siege style shooter. It's a fucking arcade style first person shooter where you're supposed to run around, run and gun and have fun. Sure, there's some camping here and there, but it, you know, when's the last time you've seen 
camping of this severity, of, of any severity like this in this game. Never. You've never seen it before. In this game, it's apparently the as worse as it's ever been. You know, Mark of J made a 30-minute video about this, and it was a video I, you know, he kind of rambled on. It could, it really didn't need to be 30 minutes. It could have been at least 20. But the point I'm trying to make is Mark of J, another guy I've been subscribed to since I started making, since I started watching videos, since I started making videos in Call of Duty, all the way from Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2 era. A guy, again, I greatly respect. He knows what the fuck he's talking about, and it's, it's not a fun game to play. He, again, says the game sucks. And finally, Thunder. <laughs> oh, Infinity Ward is straight up stupid. Tell him six nine. <laughs> that's a little, that's a little joke I that in Thunder's videos for those of you who don't know. But the point I'm trying to get at is all, all these YouTubers, you know, seeing their reactions and seeing their takes on the game. Which I, I'm not saying I'm a sheep, but I, I see I, I'm not playing the game, and I see just how they play the game, and I see how the community reacts to this game, and. It's not a game I can see myself having fun in. I didn't have fun during the beta unless it was on Gunrunner. At, be at, at most. Like, I didn't have fucking fun playing this game unless it was on Gunrunner. So I'm saying to myself, what's the point of fucking buying this game? If I'm just, you know, not gonna have fun. So I made the decision, I'm not buying the fucking game. Fuck Modern Warfare. I don't give a shit. Why would I want to fucking give money to Activision and Infinity Ward for making such a subpar not even subpar, a fucking failure of a game. That's literally what this game is. It's a giant fucking failure. And of course, like I said, other than, you know, other than campaign, which, you know, I can't really say it's a failure. I haven't seen anything on it because I was thinking I was going to buy the game. But I might as well just watch some stuff on YouTube at this point about campaign because there's literally no point at all, in my opinion, to buy a game where I'm only going to play one third of it and have fun. The other two-thirds, what's the fucking point? I'm playing $60 for one-third of a game? No. That's another decision. That's another factor that led to my decision to not buy the game. And I think it's a solid reason. You know, I, I even tweeted Ackman about it. He, he told me... I tweeted Ackman, and believe it or not, the guy actually fucking replied to me. I, was just, I almost shit myself. I mean, I've been watching this guy's videos for the last year and a half now. And... You know, and he's a big fucking YouTuber. Like, I've never had a big YouTuber really say anything to me on social media all that much. And he's like, oh yeah, buy the camp, play the campaign, it's great, blah, blah, blah. And, of, of course, my replies all fucking go to shit. I mean, I'm getting notifications for, I got a notifications for like two weeks after that. But, still, people were saying, oh yeah, you know, the game's fine. Uh, talking to me, especially regarding my tweet to Actman, they said, "Oh yeah, the game, the campaign's fine. You can play it. The multiplayer sucks. Some people would say the multiplayer was good. It's not that bad, but they probably play like fucking camping pieces of shit. So I don't really take that as a, uh, you know, as any sort of, you know, merit to their claims, at least to me anyway." So, and then the next thing I want to talk about is fucking Infinity War, dude. What the fuck, dude? These guys were the most respected. I'd like to think they were probably one of the more respected Call of Duty developers because of what they did with, you know, the Modern Warfare series, you know, from 1 to 3. Which, you know, some people don't like 3. I, quite frankly, enjoyed it a lot. But it just seems to me that since, modern, that since after Modern Warfare 3, every Infinity Ward game has been a shitter. It's been a complete and utter fucking failure. And this game is essentially an another notch in that failure belt for Infinity Ward. They've proven to be in completely incompetent. They haven't changed a fucking thing. They have just blatantly refused to fix issues that are with the game. You know, net code, all that shit. It, the lobby, the lobby leaderboards, not even leaderboards. The lobbies in general, like you can't stay in a fucking lobby. What? Who? What fucking Call of Duty game? changes a lobby every fucking time. Like, seriously, I can't fucking play like that because especially, and I think we all know the reason why, it's because of skill-based matchmaking. We all know it's in the fucking game. And that's another bullet point I have here. Another reason not to buy the game. Skill-based matchmaking. It's been, in call, it's been plaguing Call of Duty for a very, very long time now in very, in, you know, several iterations since uh, Black Ops 2? I don't think Black Ops 2 had SBMM, MM, but I mean, I, I think it was like Advanced Warfare, somewhere around that time, where 
you know, SBMM really started to take a role in, in Call of Duty. And it's not fun. It, this is not a fucking game. Call of Duty is not a game that needs skill-based matchmaking. The reasons why games like Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1 were so fucking fun was because of people shitting on noobs and pub stomping. Shit that I absolutely loved when I started to really get good at games like Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3. I fucking love shitting on noobs in that game. And I can't do that anymore. It's not fun for me. Some people will say, oh, it's not fun for the, no for the noobs, blah, blah, blah. Get better at the fucking game, dipshit. That's how you fucking get better. You get shit on, you learn a couple things. It's like, oh, maybe I can do this instead and see how this see how this guy's class is. That's why he shit on me. I'm going to fucking put my class some similar to that or the same as that. And maybe I might have different results. Who knows? The perk and field upgrade balance, absolute shit. They don't know why they don't change it. People have been saying, oh, change ghosts to something. I think, uh... I think Dead Silence is a field upgrade, and they want to change Ghost to a field upgrade and replace Ghost with Dead Silence as a perk. If that's... Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not entirely sure, but correct me if I'm wrong if that's what the general consensus of the community wants. Because that's what I've seen a lot of online. I think I might have butchered it a little bit, but... The point I'm trying to say is the perk in the field balance is all out of whack. It's a shit show. You know, weapon balance... The shot, the, that one shotgun, the Olympia, the, the 725, whatever the fuck it's called. Now, you know, the 725 is still a fucking overpowered weapon. Don't know how anybody can have fun playing up against someone with any sort of shotgun. In, uh, especially that one in Modern Warfare. Because it just seems like you're melted from half the map away when shotguns really don't have that kind of range. Unless it's like a slug or something. And, uh, let's see, uh, explosive spam. And trust me, ladies and gentlemen, I know a thing or two about explosive spam. I survived Battlefield 1. I survived Battlefield 1. I know a thing or two about explosive spam. And the fucking claymores in this game, the grenades, the flashbangs, all that shit, it's just too much. It's too fucking much. Especially when you can actually regenerate stuff like grenades and claymores. Battlefield 1 did something similar, and I, I wasn't a fan. I took advantage of it, but I wasn't a fan. It's just dumb. It's my opinion is just absolutely fucking dumb. The big overhaul, you know, they're lying to us about shit about a big overhaul. The fucking community person, whatever her name is, Ashton, or whatever the fuck her name is. She they blatantly lied about that. They said, Oh yeah, we got a big overhaul coming. Gaming Revolution confirmed uh, that it was happening. He's like a big leaker in the Call of Duty community. Turns out that fucking cuck. Joe uh, Seesot said, oh yeah, that was a complete lie. So, what's all this shit that we've been hearing? Why is your community manager fucking... Why is your community manager, you know, telling people that this is happening when it's not happening? I don't fucking understand that. Season content lies. People are saying, oh yeah, we were going to get free season content. And this bullshit, and it seems as though you have to pay for pretty much most of the fucking season stuff if you want to get anything of value which really isn't. I've seen a video online of someone buying the the whole pass and showing you what the pass consisted of. It's not good. It's kind of shitty, to be honest with you. It's probably just as bad, if not worse, as, as Black Ops 1 was. Not Black Ops 1, Black Ops 3. Or 4. <laughs> Excuse me. So they made so many of those fucking games, now they butchered one of my favorite series of all time. Still, the point I'm trying to make is the season content sucks. The whole shit with, oh yeah, we're gonna get free maps... Everyone's saying, oh yeah, we're gonna get free maps. Well, they're fucking recycled content. It's recycled content. It's last. It's lackluster. How? Who wants to play Crash for the... Over 10 years straight? Who the fuck can do that? I can't even stand Crash half the time. And I love Crash. I like it. I think it's a good map. I played it in Modern Warfare Remastered. You guys have seen me. It's, it's a fun map for Modern Warfare. It's not a fun map, apparently, for this Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare 2019 because they fucking butchered it with more head glitch and camping spots. It's ridiculous. And then they've, they're also redoing shipment and vacant. So we're getting three free remastered maps. See, here's the thing, though. With shit, when it comes to free service content, make it something the people want. Like, make it something, like, new. Make it something unique. You know? For instance, Battlefield 5. They're 
they gave us a lot of unique content. And if they did give us quote unquote recycled content, it was reimagined. For instance, uh, Operation Underground op was previously basically re inspired by Operation Metro. Operation Underground is not the same as Metro, but it's basically the same exact type of idea of it. And it's, I think it's a solid map. You know, it's not the same, it's, it's a little different. But same thing with Wake Island coming up soon. Wake Island is basically Wake Island, but, you know, reimagined to World War II again. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to lie, I'm looking forward to it. And in addition to that, we've also gotten several new maps with this DLC live service. Whatever your feelings are of Battlefield Five, I will say this much. When it comes to the DLC live service, since Operation Underground, they've given us some really good stuff. Especially with the Pacific content, Wake Island to come. But Modern Warfare is not handling this very well so far. It's literally just all recycled shit from previous games. And I'm not interested in playing the same maps over and over again that I've been playing for almost 10 years. Especially if they start bringing in shit from Modern Warfare 3. Oh god, I mean, there were some good maps on Modern Warfare 3, but still. I want to play something different. I don't want to play something the same, you know? And then, ooh, this is something that bugs the ever-living shit out of me. And I'm, for the record, guys, I apologize if this video is going longer. It's I've had a lot of pent-up aggression and frustration towards this game, even though I haven't played it. It's just a lot of shit I want to get off my chest. So I apologize that this is a little longer than most other videos, but... The point remains is that the dev team, as I continue on, the dev team for Infinity Ward, whoever's in charge of multiplayer, are some of the biggest pieces of shit babies I've ever fucking seen in my life. Is this what <laughs> gaming development teams are consisted of? Nothing but crying, whining little bitches, people blocking, they're blocking people on Twitter and social media and Reddit and all that shit for saying negative things about their game. The fucking community manager, this Ashton cunt. This Ashton cunt is fucking blocking people on fucking Twitter when her job is to talk to the community about changes to the game. I mean, holy shit. How fucking... How, how fragile is your ego? How fragile are your emotions? And this is just not towards the girl, the fucking rest of the team. Like, how fragile are your emotions that you have to blatantly block people because your game is a fucking failure and people are trying to help you to fix it? Now, I will say this much. The shit with the death threats, little much. People, I think the reason they're not going to change the game is because of shit like this. I mean, look at fucking Black Ops 2. They never changed stuff like the shotguns. They never changed the snipers. Probably because a lot of people were sending death threats to their fucking teams. So they said, you know what, we're not going to fucking change it if you're going to be like this. So, tone down on the fucking threats, people. Maybe they might actually fucking do something. But I highly doubt it at this point. Because if this is how they want to act, these complete pieces of shit of of a dev team. Just absolute pussies. Some of the biggest pussies I've ever seen in the fucking gaming community and the gaming industry. If this is how they want to act, then fuck them. That's all I could say. They're nothing but... They're just... I, I just... It gets me angry. It gets me angry that people... Like, how much... How? Let me... Another example. Look at Battlefront 2. People gave DICE a shit ton, a shit ton of crap for Battlefield 2 when it first released. You know what they did? They listened to the community about what we wanted, and they still relatively listen to us. There's still some shit that's iffy here and there, i.e. the Heroes vs. Villains update and the new content coming soon to the game that is a little questionable, but that's a different story for a different time. The point I'm trying to say is, DICE took months to overhaul the entire game, and the game was in a so much better state than it is. And that's like one of the many games that have probably been like that. I mean, look at other games, like, I heard For Honor was in a shit show state when it came out. Now it's actually relatively good. Bla uh, World War II! World War II came out in a shit show state. And of course, when uh, Glenn Schofield and Michael Condry got fired, they, uh, the multiplayer became much better. The multiplayer became much, much better. So, that's just a few examples that, you know, of people, of development teams that listen to the community. I IW, Infinity Ward, they're not going to listen to us, guys. At this point, you, the only way you're going to change their mind is by stop buying the shit that's in the game regarding the seasons and just stop purchasing the game in general. Because that'll tell Activision that they done fucked up and they'll finally get fired for the last three iterations of bullshit that have come to this series. You know? And they claim to be listening to 90% of the community. But 
to be honest with you, they're flipping it. They're really listening to only about 10% of the Call of Duty community, when the other 90% who are frustrated with the game, you know, they're not listening to. They claim they have these stats and data that, you know, claim certain things. They don't have that fucking data, dude. Unless they showed it to us, they're not fuck. They're lying about that too. They're not listening to fucking ninety percent of the community because if they were, they would have put red dots on the mini map by now. It's just <laughs> these fucking people, dude. I swear to God, their their egos must be so fragile now that people hate their vision of a game. And it's not about a vision. It's not about what you want. You you. It's not about what you want as a developer. You have to put shit in the game that the consumer also wants. Maybe you want to make some tweaks here and there. And you want to test it out in a beta or play testing, which it seems that this game didn't do any of. Maybe you want to test that out and see how what it's like. But this is a fucking... There's no fucking excuse at this point, in my opinion. And uh, last but not least, you know, the COD community itself. As cancerous as we always are, I, I kind of say I blame a lot of you too. I honestly blame a lot of you for what has happened to Modern Warfare because you choose to play the game that you do. You don't have to play like a camping piece of shit all the time. But because you do play like a camping piece of shit with, you know, these ridiculously overpowered weapons like the shotguns or whatever, it's only going to inspire more people to do that. And it's just going to make the game more unfun for people that don't play like that. Just because it's in the game doesn't mean you have to do it, you know? Like, all the leaning bullshit. Like, that's another thing. The fucking leaning mechanics or whatever. I don't know what the fuck Infinity War was thinking with all that shit. Like, it, it, it's a game that encourages camping. The thing is, people are dumb enough to actually use that shit against you in a game. And it just makes it unfun for everybody. That's just the way I see it. And I, I, I really do blame the community for a lot of that, honestly. I, they don't deserve all the blame, because I think Infinity Ward is just as much to blame. But they really do get... I'm giving them a lot of shit for this, dude. Because they chose, to, they chose to take advantage of these camping fucking things, even though everybody complains about it. They chose to do it, and now look where we are. Two months into the game, it's a fucking failure. That's what it is. So because of that, I'm not buying the fucking game. Something with all the potential in the world is a fucking failure, and it really is a, it really is a shame. It honestly is a shame, because I wanted to buy this game. I wanted to feel good about this game. I was hyped about this game. And all that hype dissipated within, like, a week. It died in a week. Could you believe that? All that hype. All, the, all those, you know, articles. All those, all those hit pieces that people were defending this game over. And now look at it. It's... It's in shambles. It's straight up in shambles. And I, ha and I have no sympathy towards anyone towards Infinity Ward other than the death threat stuff, but I have no sympathy towards them if they lose their jobs as developers because it just shows to me that they have no fucking sympathy. Or they have no... Not sympathy, but... They have no fucking competence of how to make a good game. They'd rather pull it, put out half-baked bullshit and not listen to the community about the shit that needs fixing. And then fix the game itself you know this is this is what it is man anyway my name is ed0626 my name is ed0626 i'm sorry i fucking stuttered there i i i i got nothing else to say guys follow me on social media if you liked what you watched please by all means subscribe follow me on twitter i got a facebook page and uh again sorry this is so fucking long I'm, i really had a lot of things to say about this i knew this was gonna go pretty long but i hope you all enjoy I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.